Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. This is episode 5 of 5 of my £2,000 coin hunt. So by the time this episode's finished we'll have done £1,500 worth of £2 coins and £500 worth of 50 pences. And if you don't know by now, I'm going to tell you that I'm hoping to fill my album. I'm trying to find every 50p and every £2 that you can find in circulation and put it in my book. And whereas it's been a good little series, I haven't put anything in the book yet. So I'm hoping to find that Commonwealth Games Wales £2 and some Olympic 50p's to finish it off. So the Leprechaun has done as well. The last episode, not so well. But overall, he's done as proud as this little leprechaun. So let's see whether this last episode could bring us the luck. Now, it looks like I'm sat in the dark, and I am. I was filming all these coin hunts back to back, or trying to film them all back to back. One I filmed it about, there's Brunel, the portrait, the man. Uh, one I filmed in the afternoon, which I can't remember what time it was now, but it was a long time ago. But. Lady M had me doing chores, so I never got back to film until half past six. And it's got dark around me in the magic studio. And I've had to put my studio lights on. And the way that I'm sat, I can't get the big light on and then have the not have the camera flashing in all kind of weird ways. So I look a little bit spooky. So I'm, uh, I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you'll still be able to see something. And hopefully you'll still be able to see the plum finds and you'll also be able to see me go crackers when I pull out this Commonwealth Games Wales or straight after the two pounds pull out a Q Gardens for my book. Right, I'm making a bit of a hash of this, but anyway, I'm there, I'm there, I'm sorted. I am good. There is a Shakespeare Histories. Found quite a lot of these. Over this fifteen hundred pounds worth of two pounds little mini series that was a Shakespeare comedies, and yes, fifteen hundred pounds. One lady took them all back to the post office and bought the currency for her holiday, and I was really hoping that I would find a cash in. Hey, but don't get me wrong, we still got some fantastic finds. And finds that are worth more than either the two pound or the fifty p that's printed on them. So if you this is the if you're just tuning in at episode five, do go back and watch one, two, three, and four, because it is worth it. The leprechaun did bring us some luck, but we're not done yet. Still plenty of opportunity to get some nice, lovely finds. So Brunel portrait, two of the Shakespeare's, Marconi, and the Act of Union. So nothing of value. They are just worth the two pounds printed on them. But come on, Commonwealth Games Wales. There's another different one. That is the act of the abolition of the slave trade. Two pound. And while we're on about two pounds, there is St. Paul's. Ooh, and another different one, which is nice. DNA double helix, the deoxyribonucleic acid, one of my favourite two pound coins that one. I'm fortunate enough to have that in silver. And there's the Brunel arches, so we'll put it underneath the man there, little, little mini set. Both coins came out in 2006, and that's a nice one. Charles Darwin, a keeper for some, Around about three million mintage, probably worth about three pound. It's the plum so fine, so far, so fine. Ah, another different one. Florence Nightingale. Oh, just two pound. Just two pound. So do let me know what you thought of this little mini series. I brought them all out back to back. Charles Dickens, 
Friday was the first one on Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Not done that before. If you've stumbled across me, or YouTube has suggested the video, then do go back and watch some of our other videos, particularly the ones with both Lady M and I hunting together. We hunt for 50 peas together. So it's worth it's worth coming back and subscribing and turning the notification bell on for Lady M. That's for sure. So I'm powering through, we're nearly at the end of £1,500 worth of £2 coins. Is this Commonwealth on its way? There's Lord Kitchener. If you turn it over and it doesn't have two pounds on that side, then you're in the money. Unfortunately, that's just the standard one. And yet again, worth just two pounds. There's another wireless, a Marconi, 2001. Three bags to go, and then we'll crack on to the final 50p of this little mini series. I think I'm definitely going to struggle to see the dates in this light on the, uh, that's a fake. <laughs> Unbelievable. Even in this poor light, I can see that that's a, a rubbish portrait. The IRB initials at the bottom there are all squished. No, dirty, dirty fake. So yes, I think I'll struggle to see the years on the 50p because I do check the 50p years as I go for any not intended for circulation years. There's another histories. Are we going to get the skulls? Are we going to get the hat trick of Shakespeare's? Last bag. Last bag. So we've done £300 in this hunt, £1,500 altogether. Some good finds. One another way. Yes, there it is. Some good finds along the way. But that is going to see us out. Right, as we're straight on to the 50 P's, 10 bags of 100 quid. Tenor a bag. Oops. Will I be able to see the years on the shields? I'll be squinting like Mr. Magoo. Right, we're off with a the commemorative. There is Sherlock Holmes, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So we have got a commemorative, which is good. Better than a poke in the eye. Only worth 50p, mind. 8.8 .8 million of them were minted. 9 million and 1,000 of these, Paddington at the Cathedral. Really concentrate to try and find these dates. Is that the first bag or the second bag? Second bag. Come on. Come on, lucky leprechaun. Let's have one final push for something for the book. There is diversity. I could have had more light on. Could have put the big light on plus my other other light, other like camera light. But it was making it was the screen was flashing. It was overexposed because of the I think the white of the mat. Another Sherlock Holmes. But never mind. This should be a good Halloween special. Right, he's a nice coin. That's definitely the plum find of the hunt. And we'll probably take some beating. Battle of Britain. I keep these. Unless they're in really bad condition. I would keep it. And, ah, that's one that I will be keeping. It's got a little bit of a mark on the face. Look. The Queen. Probably keeping that one. Love that coin. 
Super, that's the plan. So far anyway, still quite a few bags to go. Jack all on that one. Come on, baby. Come on. Leprechaun, leprechaun. £2.50 that cost me that leprechaun. But yes, he he's done me well there. There's another Sherlock Holmes. I don't think we found any other Sherlock Holmes in these this little mini series, and then you find three in the last bit. In the last episode. Funny how it works out. a satisfying rip proper rock hard manly northern rip right there's another Paddington at the cathedral diversity they haven't had many commemoratives but they're all repeating 2020 another diversity Wonder if I look gormless on the on the camera trying to concentrate. <laughs> what do you mean you look gormless anyway? Libraries, public libraries from the year two thousand. Where should we put that one? Put that one down there. Three to go in the bronze medal position is this bag. Oh, another Battle of Britain. Because it really has been a case of duplicating the same coins. Nice. Two off. Can you ever have enough Battle of Britains? I don't think so. Bags to go, the silver position. Can we beat a Battle of Britain? at the palace waving his flag there that will not be the Battle of Britain no 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 right we're all on the last bag so £10 left of £2,000 £1,500 worth of £2 coins £500 worth 50p Oof, are we going to end on a lovely lovely puddle duck no, we're not, but it's the lovely Beatrix Potter anniversary. I keep this one. Nice. I can go in the plum fine section down the bottom there. This should be the gold, should be the gold medal position final bag. Come on, come on, we're nearly there, nearly there. Three coins to go. And we are done. That is the little mini series over. Let's review the plum finds. So definitely it's this one for the two pounds. Charles Darwin, me and laughter on a coin. Laughter on the left, me on the right. And then it would be a toss up between 
Well, it's not a toss-up really. That that's a, that is a keeper, but this this is one of my favourite coins. Found two of them. There are the two plums. So nothing for the book, unfortunately. Oh, no, we'll do an honourable mention for that nasty fake. Right, that's us all done. That's the series done, little mini series. But don't worry. We'll be back to normal next week. Lady M and I will be uploading on Tuesdays and Thursdays as normal. Doing our 50p hunt for our 50p book. And I'll probably be back next Sunday doing um, a full a full hunt. So it might be a mix and match of 50p's and £2. I might just go all £2 or all 50p's. Who knows? Because I've done quite a lot of, of these uh, split hunts. We'll see. We'll see what the how the, the mood takes me. Right, we're all done. Oh! Hang on, tell a lie. Sorry, tell a lie. Hold the front page. There was I've got an extra bag. So this was I meant to do this first actually. So this was uh, oh come on, last bag. Look, oh, leprechaun. Um, I meant to do this first. So in, in episode four, I dropped a bag off the table, and uh, I found it. <laughs> I found it before I started filming this one. So as I got up to turn the lights on, I saw it. So this is a little bonus bag. Come on, bonus bag. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it wasn't worth, it wasn't even worth the plastic it was wrapped in. Right, okay, we're all done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed all these, uh, all the five episodes. Let me know in the comments if you've seen all five and what you thought of it. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.